I have given myself 50 days to get shredded because after traveling for a few months and coming back to work in the winter, I've been constantly changing my diet and eating more than I actually should. And in the last two months I I'm getting over four kilos. It didn't take too long with my friends, my family, and especially my mom, whereas I'm getting a bit tubby. This doesn't feel any good because 90% of my personality is fitness. So what better time to get shredded when 2023 has just rolled around? Prior to day one, I was eating about 3,000 calories, training 5 times a week, but only sleeping 5 hours a day. This caused me to increase my body fat percentage to 18%, and we are at all time high at 81 kilos. Luckily, I've been training for over 5 years now, and fat loss transformation is something I've done quite a few times. So, whilst I did this, I want to help those that want to do the same. Here's the game plan. The first two weeks is going to be the easing phase, because I want my body to get primed to get ready for this juicy transformation where every girl, mom in the future will be looking at me. <coughs> In other words, I want my body to get warmed up to lose fat so there won't be any crazy changes in my diet or training. So what does this look like? First, I'll be dropping my calories from 3000 calories to 2500 calories with a deficit of 500 calories. Science says that I actually need 2000 my body weight for protein, so I'll be eating 160 grams a day. In terms of fat and carbs, I won't track them too intensely. The rule will be high carbs, low fat and training days and high fat, low carbs and rest days. As long as these add up to 2,500 calories, I'm happy. With training, I'll be dropping five days a week to four days a week. This will be two upper body days and two lower body days with five to 10 minute light cardio at the end of the workout. My volume in terms of sets and reps is going to drop. The weight I'll be lifting will be increasing to 70% of my max weight and intensity. The reason is less calories means less energy, so the focus is quality of reps rather than the quantity. Each day, I'll be trying to get about 10,000 steps a day, which will help me burn extra 400 calories. Also, not just for fat loss, but for health reasons, I'll be trying to get at least seven hours of sleep a night. It's actually oats. Wait, I need some protein. Air are the results for the first two weeks. My body weight dropped around 79 kilos. My body fat dropped around 16.5%. I want to warn you guys, yes, two kilos in two weeks is great. But another thing I lost was fat. Some of it was water weight, some of it was muscle. So don't let the numbers confuse you. Weight loss doesn't mean fat loss. And here's a little secret. Even though I was losing weight, I was eating two kilos of food a day. The reason is the food that you see are low calorie dense food. Simply these food have low calories, so you can eat a lot of these. Doesn't make sense? Let me explain. Okay, we have a Big Mac here, and this weighs around 200 grams. So I'll give or take 500 calories. And to my left, we have 200 grams of chicken fillet, some potatoes, and some vegetables. This weighs over 500 grams, but it's only 500 calories. Don't get me wrong. Big Mac is freaking delicious. But if I eat this, I'll probably be hungry in an hour or so. But if I eat this, I'll probably only eat food for the next 46 hours. This is what we call low calorie dense food because individually they're very low in calories. And this is what we call high calorie dense food because by itself it contains a lot of calories. Now, I'm not gonna tell you that you can't have a Big Mac or any fulfilling food. What? Mm. I don't believe in myself as well Because you may start craving some Chinese Your friends may have a birthday party Or you may go out to the bar with the boys And this is part of life These things are gonna pop up one way or another It's okay to eat this food or have a drink once or twice a week But if you're going to cheat Make sure you're shooting your calorie deficit As this will determine whether you gain weight or lose weight I'm definitely gonna have to do more cardio after this Now for the next three weeks, we're going to call this the lean days because we're going to get lean. Right, this sounds kind of cool, but we're not going to change too much. We're going to drop the calories to 2200. This will help me lose weight faster and less likely to be in a plateau. I'm still going to be training four days a week, but for our core lifts, which is the squat, bench press and the weighted pull up, we're going to lift heavier and do less reps and do in between three to six reps. Each session, we're only going to be doing 15 working sets. I get money now, I started to take more pictures, but guess what happened? I got kicked out of the studio for taking this picture. Can you imagine? The trainer came all the way from reception, all the way to the studio, just to kick me out for taking the topless picture for 30 seconds. <sighs> like, what the hell? But we move. According to the scale, I'm going 77 and 78 kilos, but let's see what my body fat percentage is. So my calorie is there, let's go. According to my calculation, I'm 14.64% body fat, which I'm pretty happy with. But let's see if we can get to 12 or even 10% in the next coming weeks.
quick 10,000 steps a day update so I work at desk job and live in London and the weather here right now is pretty terrible so I was very inconsistent getting my steps in luckily there's a gym next to my office and I started going there for lunch for a quick 30 minute workout if I couldn't get my steps in or just didn't feel like it Each day the number on the scale was going lower and lower until when the number on the scale started to stay the same then started to increase from 76 to 77 kilos yet I wasn't worried Yes I may have gained some weight but I was looking in the mirror my body fat percentage was going down and I was feeling lighter this means I've built some muscle or gained some water weight but I've definitely not gained some fat the scale may be going up but my body was painting a different picture And now for phase 3 and the reason you guys click this video it's time to get shredded Phase 3 will be a bit different, we will only be eating 1,900 calories, a deficit of 1,100 calories from the start of this transformation. We will be eating 200 grams of protein to maintain muscle mass and with fat and carbs I'm not tracking it as long as it fit my calories. The training is going to change to doing 3 full body days, the focus is going to be doing 3-4 to four compound exercises and training at maximum intensity each session. Rest days are going to consist of doing 10-12,000 to 12 steps a day which obviously I need to be more consistent with. Got some salad, chicken, and avocado. We also have lentils here, and some vegetables. That rice is not for me, it's not my mom. There's no structure there, just, I just put everything in there and start munching. As I got more leaner, calisthenics became much easier. I'm going to like six months, so let's see if I can do the tap and stuff push up. Somehow I kind of got it. All right, guys, we made it to day 47. I'm weighing around 77 kilos, or I'm around 12% body fat. As you can see, look lean. But for day 50, I want to look as shredded as possible. And the way I'm going to do this, and I do not recommend, is I'm not going to eat any carbs because carbs are going to retain a lot of water. And I'm going to drink a lot of water just to flush the water out. The idea behind this is by removing water. My muscles aren't going to look as full, but I'm going to look way more vascular. I'm still going to be eating 1,800 calories, so that's not going to change. Now we're going to fast forward to 3 days and go to day 50. Alright guys, it's day 50. I've had barely any carbs for the past few days. Also, I took a solo bath yesterday night just to flush out the soap from my body. So I look even leaner, hopefully. I'm just going to get a quick pump, then we're going to see the results. <laughs> Cameraman for today is my mom. Let's go. Whoa, I hit recorded job, you can't ignore it. I'm transforming now, these cars and planes, I'm always boarding. Just out touring down in Charlotte, like I play for Hornets when I'm performing. Never. I hope you guys found this video helpful and something valuable that you can take in your fatness journey. From my sources, I'll probably down below. I post almost every day on Instagram stories, sharing routines, tips, and recipes. Currently, I'm helping my best friend go through a weight gain transformation, which will be coming in the next few weeks. So stick around, this is going to be special, and I'll see you guys soon.